In this video, we'll find the oxidation numbers for CaClO2 too. So the first thing we need to note is this is a neutral compound. There's no negative or positive after it, so it's neutral. All the oxidation numbers are going to add up to zero. We also know that calcium, that's in group two on the periodic table. It'll have a plus two oxidation number. Chlorine, we don't know. We have to look at what that's bonded to to figure out its oxidation number. But oxygen almost always has a minus two oxidation number. So we'll call chlorine X. And now all of this, it's a neutral compound, it's going to add up to zero. We just set an equation up. We have two plus, let's just put our parentheses, X for the chlorine. And then we have two times minus two, so minus four. All of that times two, we said that'll equal zero. Now we just solve for X. So we have two plus two X minus eight, and that'll equal zero. Two X minus six equals zero. Two X will equal a positive six. So X, that's gonna equal a positive three. So the oxidation number for the chlorine here will be plus three, and that's each chlorine. We have two chlorines. If you add up the oxidation numbers for all the elements, you will get zero. We could have also used this rule right here if we recognize that ClO2, that's the hypochlorite ion, ClO2 minus, and we could use this rule to figure out chlorine as well. You get the same answer either way. This is probably a little more straightforward though. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for CaClO2. Thanks for watching.